<laughs> yeah, I've never understood that. Something under them. Honestly. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, how are you? If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. So I really haven't reacted to TikToks in a while and I thought, why not do that today? So today I'm going to be reacting to a romantic TikToks. Let's get into it. Oh, so they're doing a, a makeup. So they're doing gray romantic makeup. Honestly, I, I wish I could do makeup. I'm just way too, um, lazy to learn. <laughs> but it looks so good. <laughs> they look so good. That looks so good, oh my god. See, this is one of the things that I love about the community just in general is like how talented everyone is. It's crazy. Things I had to accept that I'm asexual. <laughs> Great romantic. <laughs> Honestly though, I kind of relate to that. So I've been thinking that I might be on the aromantic spectrum somewhere possibly demi-romantic but like it's not something that i've really like told a lot of people i guess i'm telling all of you now but i've always felt like my romantic orientations have always been like harder to come to terms with than being asexual or being non-binary for some reason being biromantic was always like hard for me to wrap my head around and then possibly thinking i might be demi-romantic is also like something that i'm like eh. so yeah i definitely relate to that a lot <laughs> Yeah, I've never understood that. Honestly, I feel like I related more to this like when I was younger. Um, I don't really care that much anymore if I'm in a relationship or not. I'm like, whatever. But I definitely, when I was younger, always felt so out of place and so like what's wrong with me because I just was never interested in getting into a relationship or like doing any of that stuff. And if I ever did feel those feelings, I would always want to push it away and be like, ugh, this is weird. Maybe I am a little romance repulsed. Um, I know I'm definitely a bit sex repulsed, but yeah, definitely relate to the feeling of not quite fitting into what everyone else seems to be feeling. And it's like, what, why am I not feeling this? And it's okay if you're not feeling it, it's totally valid. Hey gay beans, let's talk sexuality, specifically aromantic, lithromantic, and gray romantic. Shit. First off, we have aromantic, and there is another black line <laughs> here, you just can't see it. Opposed to what some people think, aromantic people can yep, feel sexual attraction. Those who don't are just ace arrow. Next we have lithromantic. Lithromantic have people can lithromantic feel romantic here. attraction, but doesn't want it reciprocated. Lithromantic people may be uncomfortable at the thought of somebody liking them and will feel romantic attraction that fades upon it being reciprocated. Lastly, we have gray romantic. Gray what? romantic people fall in between romantic mm. and aromantic. Gray romantic people may feel a romantic attraction but not want to act upon it, rarely feel a romantic attraction, or not knowing how to identify romantic attraction, not knowing how to draw the line between romantic and not romantic, leaving you unsure if you felt romantic attraction at all. <laughs> Hope I could clear some stuff First up. First of all, oh my god, they're adorable. Second of all, I love educational stuff like that because as someone who might possibly be on the aromantic spectrum but like doesn't know too much about it, like it's always good to like learn and always be evolving and knowing different things about communities. I think I definitely like can relate to the lithro thing but in like a sexual way. Like if someone is feeling sexual attraction towards me and I'm like, ew, like what? No. It freaks me out. I'm not so sure about romantic attraction. Like I can relate to that, but my feelings don't fade, but like I can really relate to the whole like not wanting people to feel those things towards me because I'm like, get away from me. Hi there. Let's talk about what it means to be gray romantic. 
Because I get asked this question a lot. <laughs> gray romantic is They're an so umbrella cute. term, so it can have many different ah. meanings. Overall, gray romantic simply means that someone identifies with some aspects of a romanticism, but not all of it is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, So for mm -hmm. some people, they feel like they don't feel romantic attraction as often as other people do. Yeah. Or for some people, they don't feel romantic attraction as strongly as it seems like other people do. Some people feel the romantic attraction, but don't want any kind of romantic relationship, so they'd rather identify as gray romantic. And some people just really aren't sure if they feel a romantic attraction or not. And it's don't hard know to, how to like identify tell themselves. sometimes. So yeah, it's just the gray area between alloromantic and aromantic. Honestly, as someone who is on the asexual spectrum, I feel like one of the biggest things is like telling the difference between attractions. And like, I've always had a really hard time telling the difference between attractions. So like, that makes a lot of sense. I'm learning a lot of things about myself today. But yeah, again, I like learning about different parts of the community, different labels, all that fun stuff. Learning is good for you. And especially with um, identities that don't really get talked about a lot, it's always good to mwah, learn. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more aromantic TikToks from me as well as other identities in the LGBTQ community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.